So I just finished calling my mom and I actually haven't seen my family for almost two and a half years now since the pandemic started but before this I usually try to see them like at least once a year my family actually all lives in Asia. My parents live in Vietnam. My grandparents live in Taiwan. It's been six years of me living in the States alone away from my family. I still feel homesick all the time. I don't think it gets easier over time. Quite the opposite, it gets harder. I think mainly because now that I know my family is getting older and I have like a limited amount of time to see them. I don't know, if you're an international student, you probably will feel this too. Like, I hate going to the airport and saying goodbyes to my family. It always hits me like a truck every time. So we will go to the airport and they will help me with my luggage. That's when it will first hit me that like, oh shit, I only have 15 minutes left with them until I see them next year. And then after we finish checking the luggage, then we'll go through the security line to go to customs. And usually they will wait around the line like waving goodbyes, all that. I try to only turn back once and say bye once because I know if I turn back the second and third time, I might like lose control and I'll just start crying. I don't want them to see that. So I usually wait until I pass the gate where they can't see me and I start crying until I board the plane. It, it always happens like this every time. Um, yep. Oof. But I think over the years, I have gotten better coping with being homesick. I think the first thing is having a support system. For me, my boyfriend is my support system. He has seen all of my homesickness episodes. So what he usually does is he would bring me out to coffee or walk around in New York with me basically to get me out of this like homesickness. But the second thing I would do is like, I'll keep myself busy. I'll remind myself why I'm in the States in the first place. The reason why I'm here in the States is because I want to build a better future for myself and that way I can also build a better future for my parents. And once I remind myself of my purpose, then it becomes easier for me to channel my homesickness into motivation and I do think it's allowed me to work harder as a person. Third thing that I started learning to do is to do things that make me happy. Before, I always thought that like, okay, I don't really need to be happy when I'm in the States, but I realized that's not a healthy mindset to have. The past two years during the pandemic, I really tried to invest the time to find things that make me happy. And it doesn't need to be like anything big. It can be as small as me, you know, putting together mo multiple thousand piece puzzles. And I was so proud of that, by the way. Or even like me making really good coffee. Most recently, me starting a YouTube and figuring out how to film, how to edit, thinking about what type of content do I wanna put out for you guys, things like that. If you're an international student or if you're someone who lives away from your family, I just wanted to let you know that it is hard. I feel you 100%, but I'm sure your family and everyone is so proud of you. I'm so proud of you and yeah. Oh, I don't know why this is getting so emotional. I'm gonna go make some brunch since I haven't eaten. It's almost 12. Guys, I got this new variation of egg pancake. This is the scallion pancake. Tong yo bing.
massage your lips. Pancake with syrup. Mm. Dude, this sauce is life changing. It's so good. I'm going to Chinatown to get a foot massage and I'm also going to try out this mochi cookie place. Um, I found them on Instagram and I realized they're having a pop-up in Chinatown this weekend. Honestly, the past few weeks I haven't been able to sleep that well. I think it's because my screen time has gone up so much, like with YouTube, editing, filming, all that. I just couldn't sleep until 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. So I definitely feel like my body is a little bit swollen all over. So yeah, hopefully a massage could help. Outfit today. This is like a turtleneck hoodie from Aloe Yoga. Love how it's double fleeced and it has a built-in turtleneck in here. I'm wearing my Everlane sweatpants. These are the comfiest sweatpants I've ever worn. It cinches your waist, cinches your ankle really well. It has a pocket and it's fleeced, so super warm. And I've had these for six months. Shape still holds and it doesn't like loosen out. I got two more colors in this collection and I also got my boyfriend into it. So these are the only sweatpants that we wear. For my bag, this is from Teddy Blake. I just love how chic he looks and I really like the shape. Also holds a lot of stuff in here. So let me show you what it looks like. Yeah, so you can definitely put a lot of stuff here. Yep. And then um, my socks, Hello Yoga as well. Super thick, perfect for winter. So why you tripping? Like what you sipping? And where your home is? Sun's down in a minute, I know. Can I just get the mochi? Is so you just want the cookie? Yeah. You want the drink? No, it's the same price. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Then... I'm gonna go meet up with my boyfriend. Uh, he just finished volunteering at this Chinese school. So, we're gonna go to a coffee shop in Soho. From Chinatown to Soho is like a 10 minute walk. So. bit of mochi. It tastes more like custard.
sushi takeout for dinner. Wow, it's so good. This is a shrimp tempura. It's so good. Let's go out in the sun. So it is currently what time is it? Oh my god, it's 1 a.m. and we all of a sudden really wanted to watch one more episode of Breaking Bad. I thought, why don't we sleep out here in the living room tonight so that we can watch a TV, like one more episode. And I think it's such a great idea. Vacationing, but in your living room.